Today's lesson is about recording a delivery and creating either way a pick list or a pick list. And I'll explain the differences. In previous lesson, we had already created the, uh, through the inventory module, we did the purchase order, we did the receiving, meaning that at that moment, the items became available into our uh, stock room. What we're going to do today is the delivery and shipping. If you go over here, then you will see that in the other lesson, we received a switch. That switch is in our uh, stock room right now. And right now, what we can do today is to basically deliver it to this company, to this client where we have it uh, ordered for. We check mark this one and then we say deliver and ship. What it will do, it will right away uh, create a button that says create either way a pick or a packing list. A pick list is something for you internally to grab the items and then ship it out to the to the to the client or add it to an order. Create a packing list would just be get the, the item and also create the, the packing list and ship it to the to the to the client. In this case, what we can do, maybe we can do that we select both because we need to uh, during receiving it was placed into the stock room. We need a pick list for somebody to take it out of the stock room, and then we need to have the packing list to grab it and send it to the particular client with just a packing list. And the pick list is something that stays internal. And we can press save, okay? And in both versions, you will see there's a pick list coming up on the screen. And it also says the serial number. In this case, it picked right away the serial number because there's only one available. If you have multiple items in stock with, of course, different serial numbers, it will let you choose which uh, serial number was picked. And then here also we have the packing list. A little bit of a different layout with the switch and also again serial number. Again, the packing list goes together with the, the product to the client and the pick list is internal to get the item. Now what will happen when uh, something internally is need to be done and it's not being uh, picked right away? I'm going to show you that a little bit too. So I already have opened up here a, a, a kind of an example ticket. I'm going to say new charge and I'm going to say uh, choose something that is uh, for sure that's in stock. That was the product called equipment. And you see right away when I did it on the bottom, there was an extra item uh, became available. It says stock room. There are 10 on hand and there's a zero reserved and uh, 10 available and pick. I want to pick one. It probably will pop up a screen that I have to save it. Of course, yes, I will save it. And it will process that I have one and I can say deliver and ship these items. Or you can transfer them to me. It's also and now you can see that this has been delivered and shipped. But there's no option to create a pick list or a pack list. Now, of course, you maybe might want to say hey, I need a pick list or a pack list. Now you have to save that particular chart on that particular uh, task there. We go back here to inventory. I'm going to click show you how we got there. Delivery and shipping. First step is ready to deliver ship. There's nothing right now because nothing has uh, came in new, but there's a tab and delivered and shipped. And as you can see over here, here's the two items that we processed today, the switch we did earlier, and here's the equipment that we just had right now. You check the box and now here on top, you have either way create a pick list or create a packing list. In this case, I want to create a pick list. I want to show that internally, want to get it out of the stock room. And here you can see it. They need to take one equipment out of the stock room from here and they can. And here you have the button to print it and give it to the appropriate person. That concludes all about the pick list, the pack list and how to deliver uh, items to uh, an item. There's also the option here to cancel the delivery shipment. So that's the way how you can reverse items as well, all being done in this inventory module. If any more questions, please visit our Facebook group and leave a comment there. Thank you.